Well, the history of the business is I was a partner at Norm Marshall for like seven years and before that Davy Brown. So that's almost 20 years I've been doing integrations and partnerships from um, Reebok and Jerry Maguire to the Italian job and the Mini Cooper. And it's always been a one-off business. And a one-off business is not easy to figure out how we find you. How, how do you, you know, life's short and you're making a thousand calls and how fast can you make those calls and how do you get to the person who gives you beer or a cell phone or whatever, you know, airline tickets, things that producers need to offset the cost of, you know, making expensive content, particularly in an era where um, you're not getting as many licensing fees or other support from a network or a studio. So we embarked on this journey about three or four years ago under the Corbis umbrella. We launched it a year ago at the New Fronts with my chairman, Bill Gates. And we really came out of, you know, this year, not only at the Produce By Conference, but at some of the other marketing conferences to tell the world that this is a, an interactive, I like to call uh, Ben as the Amazon of embedding. Um, and it's a place you can go where the storefronts are the different pieces of content that we have. Um, and I, I have to say it's wildly exceeded our expectations in the first year in sort of beta mode. Um, and I think what is great from a producer standpoint is it makes it easy. Um, and if you think about, you can go to New York or Chicago or London, you can hail a taxi, but everybody's going Uber, right? I mean, they don't want to stand out in the street and look for the taxi. They want to go to their device and look at it and see where is it, how fast is it coming? And in a world where the millennial generation is, is on that sort of speed of Snapchat and Twitter. You know, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to be disruptive in the marketplace. Going into a world where it's a science versus relationship. And I think the really critical thing is to look for partners who understand the metrics, the measurement, how the business really works. And we've been blessed here at Corbis, which is a Bill Gates company, to really create something new and novel, which is called the Branded Entertainment Network. So the idea of it is to allow producers to come to a portal and suggest the kind of scenes and the kind of opportunities that are appropriate for brand and go out to the web to a universe of brands who are interested and then be a matchmaker. Whereas in the past, you had to do it as a one-off and it was very relationship driven. So we're really trying to bring scale to it. Think about the producers having a portal, a dashboard where you can go and enter your content. And we don't want to think of producers thinking about Ben as not a creative alliance because it is really important to understand that when somebody's driving a car, it may be different from a Cadillac and a Hyundai. And it says something about the character or whether they're using a black card or a green card. So we know that there'll always be some friction about what the creative fit is. But the most important is, thing is, how do you get that information out to the marketing community? So what we've done for the producers is, in essence, on the site, we've created an opportunity for you to download the forms to tell us about the scripts that are in development, the scripts that are upcoming, the projects that um, the producers and the content community from film, from TV, and from the OTT world, and even the digital sort of influencer world has become so important. Um, what there is there. Tell us about the, you know, the audience, the synopsis, the kind of flavor of the script. And then we'll put it into our system. And if we're able to find the right partner and match, there's obviously a money that uh, exchanges hands, which um, is very beneficial to offsetting the costs of you know, the, the content creation. And I think the dynamics of it are that um, more established producers will always get the first dibs from marketers because the content is going to be having a distribution platform. And that's really important because marketers don't like to necessarily invest in R&D. So if the project never gets off the shelf and it sits somewhere, it's not as valuable to them as an investment. And they have, if it's you know, Cadillac who's you know, next door and a big sponsor, they have 20 cars to give. If they give five to things that really weren't going to be out there, they might not have the car available for something that's really important. So what we do is, you know, we, we, it's not like we grade everything, but there's a degree of um, how we look at what's right for a brand and make sure that we're looking at both the independent world, the really up and coming world, and of course the established world. But of course, I think uh, established producers generally get a little bit more of the traction from the big brands, whereas maybe a, a Red Bull or um, a Monster Energy or some of the other 
um, more independent spirit, I think, of a brand like, uh, it's called Elf, it's eyes, lips, and face. It's not L'Oreal, but it's sort of a hipster, really cool brand out of Brooklyn that might be great for an independent feature. Corbis still has, you know, an enormous connectivity to the production community through our motion and our image business. And at, at the end of the day, you know, producers need great motion clips, you know, from city flyovers and you guys need really good still images that are appropriate for uh, campaign work or you know stuff that is uh, that producers do whether they're storyboarding or doing scripts so I, I think Bill has looked at the company about um, entertainment and media has become the focus of it versus a static image company and for us I think that's putting us more um, in, a, in a better place for the future um, and it's been an exciting journey we've been on for the last couple of years.